This hair really needs some help because it's been colored so many times. Less than four months ago, it was bleached blonde. And after several applications of dark hair color, it's over deposited, the shaft is really mushy, the ends, as you can tell, are in terrible shape. We're gonna use two different formulas, one at the root area, and one for the shaft and the ends, mixed very specifically, and also infused with Spotlight Shine. The first formula, as you can see, is half an ounce of color with one and a half ounces of 20 volume, and the shaft and ends gets two ounces of color with one ounce of 10 volume. Each get 10 pumps of Spotlight Shine. We're going to apply this per Master Colorist Luis and make sure you mix these just right before the application. And let's join Luis to see how it's done. We separate the hair as we go along with it. So we're going to start with thin sections on our head and we are going to try to work as fast as we can. When we start doing it, we normally push the head down into the head so we can actually release the tension back out. So it can actually it kind of springs the hair back up because we want the air to penetrate a lot. We don't want the hair to stay flat on our head. So we're pushing down, separating the hair out, and pumping back up. On her case, we're trying to recreate something that she had before. At this point, it's a little bit of color and a little bit of shine back on her hair. I don't really looking for anything but clearness on her color, on her head, and depthness, and put some depth back on the hair on the outside of her head. So, it's that as long as I keep the hair separated from each other and let the air to penetrate faster, I'm only going to pause her face for 15 minutes only. Because what I'm looking actually is for the 15 minute lifting from the color. And I'll pass it from, especially on the base. Spotlight shine to be used and to penetrate into her hair. So basically we're coloring conditioning at the same time. More than anything else. But you are going to see how this level 5 on her hair that is a level, actually a level 2, is going to make a difference. After we have play actually applied on both sides of our head and going back and forth again to set to open them up. I can I can explain this how important that this part actually is. You have to go back into it and separate each hair. You don't want the, you don't want to allow the hair to cover each other so much. You want it to let it breathe. So I'm going back again and again. Even though at the diagonal sessions this way when I was going to the beginning, now I'm going backwards with it. I want to crisscross them. So I can open them up. So now you want to allow almost a little bit of the heat on the whole thing to process. When the hair actually gets on top of each other too much, when it gets too close to each other, the oxidation is slower because it's not penetrate, so it makes the color to it takes a longer to process. When it's like this, it rapidly oxidation faster because air, air makes the hair oxidize as it happens work. But also, that you don't want to have lightness in some areas more than others because the heat of her body is going to create to be light to be lighter so i want it to be as, as much as possible as even as possible because we're trying to even up this color that you already have i'm trying to see everything back inside everything i'm preventing to do is make your hair to be fragile and to keep breaking that she already had done it from the past. I'm holding up, put the beginning of it, and just covering the rest of my fingers to make it flat into the color, into her head. Same thing again. It has to be ninety degree because the hair gets all tangled up. So if I'm coming here out basically, put in the color flat, plant the color halfway in, and take it all the way out. Half ninety, half, all the way out. Remember how we saw at the beginning how much reflection she had at the top of the head, like between two inches of the scalp, all the way to about close to the ends of the hair? That's the area that I'm trying to actually like, get back to be quick. And that's the area that's like something in color. Is the one she lose the color, the one that is more exposed to the sun, the one she blow dries more, the only one she sees. So the only one she's gonna make it worse. Whatever she doesn't see, it looks purple. And that's most cases what happened with everybody. They only destroy they only destroy what they see. And now we 
I should, I, I should have put in the virginity on the hair throughout the hair. Mm -hmm. We lift the cut of the hair up and we actually spray it so the mist of the, the repair can actually penetrate all over the hair. We don't want to spread on the scalp, we just want to lift the hair and spread on the hair. You can see what the mist is and the mist will actually go in exactly and grab whatever they have the color of the hair is needed.